So welcome back to part two of the Red Light Green Light Squid Games Mike Candice remake. In this video we're going to carry on from the last part where we did the verses and the builds uh, and we're going to finish it off today with the chorus. But this is what we did in the last video. Playing red light, green light. You are allowed to move forward when it shouts out green light. Stop when it shouts red light. If your movement is detected afterward, you will be eliminated. Those players who cross the finish line without being eliminated within the five minute playtime will pass this round. Okay, so without any further ado, I'm going to jump into the chorus remake at a bit of a different angle to usual, and I'm going to start with a kick. Which is quite an important part of this song because it needs a lot of that clicky kind of energy, but also needs to leave a bit of space for this other bass we've got on here. So you can grab this kick from Main Stage Volume 1, it's a really nice kick, and it's a great pack as well if you want similar kicks. I've then taken this other kick from Main Stage Volume 1 and taken out all of the start of it, but I prefer the clickiness at the start of this, so this is what we have. So it gives you that instant bass on the low end and just kind of covers all of the main bass element in this track. So on the first parts of the drops, we have these growls, which are composed of a lot of different elements. But the first part I'm going to do is add this hard style impact from the previous part. Um, and I've kind of just chopped it short. And this is how it sounds. We then have these stadium claps, which are again from the last part, but this time they're being played on every single beat. So they're filling out a bit of the mid top end and just giving a lot more of that like instant energy just on every beat. So on the topic of that instant growl kind of sound, what I've done here is grabbed some one shots from Main Stage Volume 1 uh, and just kind of reversed them and shaped them to kind of fit the sound. We also have this one shot. And then here, as you can see, I've got some MIDI data for the presets I'm using to kind of achieve that growl again. So the presets I'm using is this noise stab bass from Main Stage Volume 1. Uh, and that's really covering it with the top end. And then we have Womp, another Womp, which is also from the pack. When combined with the reverses and all the other stuff in here, we have this. And so one of the key parts of this whole sound in this song is the real heavy kind of suction effect on the side chain. Um, so I've used the classic chain, which is a little bit tighter than normal. And you get like a longer ducking time, which gives you that really nice big room effect. So the first preset of the bass line is this one called Take from Main Stage Volume 1. So we're playing some triplet stuff and on the very first notes where you've got that growl stab, you've just kind of got a missing note. So this is how it sounds. We then have this preset called Monster and this is just adding a bit more mid grit to the whole sound. We then have this preset called Slogan from Car Music Volume 4. And this is giving it that down sampled slash distorted slap house kind of bass sound. And then finally, we've got this preset called Big and Slow, which adds a lot more grit and just character to the whole sound. So on the processing side of things, on the bass, we've got some CLA, which is doing about two to three dB reductions, quite light again. Um, and then we've got some tonal EQ here to kind of shape it and just get a bit closer sonically to the sound. So this is what we have all together so far. And then as you can see, I've kind of arranged the rest of it as well, where you've got the little cuts for the vocal. So the next important sound is the rave lead, which we had in the previous part. So if you want to check the first preset, you can go and see that. But we've kind of thickened it up a lot more with different presets. Um, so the first preset is called Big Rave. This is followed by a preset called The Future. And the final preset is called Tiny Rave. So with all three of these presets combined, we have this. And on the processing side, we've got some OTT to really boost the top end uh, and then some stereo width being made on the sides and also just on the sound overall. The really important part comes in the channel pitch. So the pitch automation that's going on because there's a lot of unique different automation parts here, as you can see, um, but these really give it that kind of flowing character where you can hear it going up and down a little bit. So with everything we have so far, So I felt like there was a little bit of noise missing on the whole growl sound. So what I've done is added a noise exhaust and chopped it way shorter. I'm then reintroducing these impacts from the previous section, which just fill out all the top end and just again, add a lot more energy. So then the final element here is just the clap that gets introduced on the last drop right here. Uh, and this is also from Main Stage Volume 1 and I don't believe I've pre-shifted. No, I've kept it on the grid. Uh, so everything's just left as usual, just balanced a little bit so it sits underneath the kick. So 
So that's actually it for the entirety of the remake. Make sure you drop a like below if you enjoyed this one or if you found it useful. And make sure you drop your suggestions down below on what you want to see in the next videos. As always, we'll be covering all of your requests. But thank you very much for watching. Let's go and take a listen back now and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Playing red light, green light. You are allowed to move forward when it shouts out green light. Stop when it shouts red light. If your movement is detected afterwards, you will be eliminated. Those players who cross the finish line without being eliminated within the five minute playtime will pass this round.